Hey everybody, this is a review for the Bad Girls Club Atlanta, episode 5. Now for once, uh, it doesn't start where it ended last episode with the fight. I really hate when they do that, but I guess that's how they get viewers and shit. But yeah, the girls were just chilling outside and um, Stephanie's talking about how she thinks there's a ghost in the house because she was taking a shower and she felt like somebody was watching her or some shit. So, to diffuse that idea, they the girls go out, they're smoking cigars, and they decide to get their fortunes told. They first bring in um, Alicia and Valentina. And of course, like, it's the same old crap that any other fucking fortune teller would tell you. Oh, uh, I knew that, you know. Uh, where am I getting the West Indies from, you know. Anyways, but they end up asking her, like, do you think we can trust these girls, like the other girls outside? And she's like, yeah, I can trust most of them. Yeah, why not? And anyways, they end up going home and uh, <clears throat> Shannon is on the phone with her sugar daddy, Jerry. And uh, he's coming over. They're going to have a party. They're going to have a DJ there and a bunch of boys and shit. Everything is going to be fun and hunky dory and shit. But she's telling him, like, uh, bring a lot of money because I want you to throw ones up in the air and I want to see these bitches crawl for their money. Like, they'll start making out and all this nasty shit. But then they see the picture of the new girl. And right away, they're ready to fucking judge this poor girl. Like, honestly, I, I saw her and yeah, she looks, like, kind of intimidating. But she looked like a lot of fun to me. Like, I had no reason to judge her whatsoever. But Paula is just like... I'm already annoyed that she's about to be my roommate, why'd she have to be in my room, da 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 I'm just like, oh my god, Paula, like, why are you judging? You're judging a book by its cover, pretty much. I mean, the girls go out, but by the time they come home, the new girl, uh, what's her name, Raquel, but they call her Rocky, is already there. And she's just checking everything out, but she notices, like, how nasty the girls are. Like, that's another thing I've noticed throughout the seasons. Why are the girls so messy? Like, come on, you're supposed to be a lady. Clean up after yourself. Like, it's not that hard. Do some fucking dishes. I do that stuff for shits and giggles just because I want to. Because I love a clean house. But that's just me. But she's on the phone and then she hears the girls come in. And oh my god. So many, like fake smiles and everything and she said out of all the handshakes she got the best one she got was from Shannon and she was stern, firm, all that fun stuff but yeah I would expect that from Shannon she can already feel some tension rising and she's just like taking it as whatever but when she got to the house she started like messing with a few things she actually out of all people got Shannon's makeup brushes and cleaned the fucking toilet with it Honestly, that would have been more funny if it were Alicia's brushes, but fucking A shit happens, right? Uh, the guys come over, and Jerry Shannon's sugar daddy pretty much shows up with a big ass bag of fucking money and right away just throws the ones up, and the girls fucking scatter towards it, shit. <laughs> but yeah, everything's going great, they're having fun, getting drunk, and Alicia starts to notice that. Uh, Rocky is like getting all slutty, getting all messy and shit like that. She's like, why are you being slutty? You're being sloppy. It's gross. Ew. And I'm just like, honey, you're besties with a stripper. That's like a professional slut pretty much. So I don't know why you're complaining why the girl is having a little too much fun when you're friends with an actual slut. It should be no big deal. You're just hating her because you have nothing better to do. I'm getting tired of fucking Alicia, especially Valentina's shit. And just when I'm getting tired of their shit... Oh, I can't believe I forgot this. Oh my god, I am so dumb. Excuse me. The first night the girl gets there, the girls go out, they have fun and shit like that. But then when they get home, the other new girl, Jen, had made a hot pocket and she had gone upstairs or whatever to get in her PJs. And Rocky pretty much just sees it laying there and she just grabs it and just starts eating like half of it. Jen comes back downstairs and starts bitching about it. What the fuck is your problem, girl? Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah, it's rude to bite somebody's food before asking. But at the same time, it should be no big deal. There should be no reason to start a fucking fight over it. That and Rocky just sucked up her pride. Just says, you know what? I'll make you another one. So she does. She even kisses the plate to be sarcastic. She makes her a new hot pocket. And then, um... Paula starts getting in her face about it, like, what makes you think that was okay to eat somebody else's food? She's like, it's no big deal, like, 
honestly, if somebody took a bite of my food, I would be like, yeah, what the fuck, you know? I'm like, but then I would have been like, you know what? Ask next time. You want to help me finish it, actually? <laughs> but anyways, the girls are making such a big hissy fit about this shit. Like, ridiculous hissy fit. Like, I don't think there's any might all in this house. Seriously. These girls are pissy over the tiniest little things, and it's so annoying. Jen gets her new Hot Pocket, and then she's outside with uh, Rocky getting in her face. I don't know what she was screaming. And then she just gets the plate and just kind of like pushes it in Rocky's face. And there's pushing and shoving, hair grabbing here and there. And then Rocky, my god, she just like pretty much just puts all her weight into her chest and just like does this number. I don't know what that is. But she just knocks Jen to the fucking ground. Rocky's like a messy fighter, but for some reason, if she threw a punch, oh my god, I have no idea how crazy it would fucking get if that were the case. But, anyways, going back to the night where they bring the DJ and Jerry's there. Yeah, everybody's just giving pretty much Rocky crap about looking slutty, looking sloppy, and shit like that. And I'm just like, it's no big fucking deal. Y'all are having fun. You're in a house full of sluts anyways. Don't be judging who's a slut in the first place. But... When the night starts to slow down a little bit, of course, here comes fucking Jen, getting tired of her shit, supposedly, and she's all on top of the table, screaming at her, whatever. Rocky's just sitting there, taking it, and then Jen starts, like, pouring beer on her. She's still taking it, and all of a sudden, she just grabs her by her, uh, her ponytail and just starts pulling it, and she, oh yeah, and she smashed, like, a not smashed, but she, like, had the beer can in her face, and then she just pushed it in her mouth. I would have done some serious fucking damage if that shit was done to me. Rocky's just playing it so fucking cool. Like, she deserves a fucking award for being so calm. Like, out of all the things I've seen in the Bad Girls Clubhouse, all the girls that I've noticed would have done some shit about it. Rocky just took it. And then, of course, the scuffle starts and they start going at it back and forth. And my fucking god, like... I'm already sick of Jen. I want Rocky to fucking kick her ass. And all the girls are just kind of ganging up on her a little bit. And of course it gets separated and shit. And then um, Jen goes grabs, uh, goes to grab Rocky's bed, throws it in the fucking pool. I'm tired of that shit, by the way. That would not fucking work on me because my bed is on the fucking floor. Take my bed. I don't care. I sleep on the floor anyway. Moving on. Um... Rocky's just like, okay, whatever. She goes upstairs to go to sleep, and <laughs> Shannon finds her pretty much underneath the bed from, like, where the frame is and shit like that, and she just feels bad for her, so she's just like, all right, come on, girl, get, get up under there, come sleep in my bed. And she puts her in the bed with uh, her sugar daddy, Jerry. Jerry looks like he's already fucking passed out. Right away, Rocky passes out, and then the next morning, she wakes up, and she's like, where the fuck am I? And then all of a sudden, a whole new, like, argument starts because Rocky didn't know where she was and Shannon put her in the fucking bed with a complete stranger. Okay, the whole argument started over why would you do that to somebody, da 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 you threw her under the bus. They were just going after Shannon like it was like the most fucked up thing in the world. Honestly, in my opinion, Shannon wouldn't have put Rocky in the bed with him if she didn't trust the man at all. So what? She doesn't fucking know his last name. He's a sugar daddy, not a boyfriend, not a fiance, nothing special. The dude pays for her fucking bills pretty much. But seriously, there has to be some trust involved, so obviously she wouldn't put her in the bed with him in the first place. Nothing happened, and they're making such a big fucking deal about it. And they're just pretty much ganging up on fucking Shannon, poor thing, and she's just sitting there, just whatever, taking it. And my god, like, in a way, I'm kind of getting sick of these girls, and I'm just hoping, like, Shannon and, uh, Rocky can, like, I don't know, like, fix their friendship somehow, because they look like badass friends, and if I were in that house, I'd be friends with them too, unfortunately. That is it for this review, but, uh, until next Tuesday, we're gonna have to see what happens. See y'all later. Bye!